A Hindu mob of nearly 200,000 gather around the Babri Masjid with just one collective aim. Led by Hindu nationalist leaders, the mob broke police barricades, climbed the dome of the mosque, and tore it down. 25 years later, the political and social tremors of the Babri Masjid demolition can still be felt. So, what is the dispute all about? Named after India's first Mughal emperor, Babur, the Babri Masjid is located in Ayodhya, Uttar Pradesh. Built in the 16th century, the mosque has been a flashpoint between Hindus and Muslims in the Indian subcontinent for more than 150 years. Some Hindus believe the mosque was built after the destruction of a Hindu temple and was the birthplace of a Hindu god, Lord Ram. There have been confrontations here since 1853. The British segregated the places of worship for the two communities, and that was how it stayed for nearly 90 years. Then, in 1949, some people placed the idol of Ram inside the mosque, reigniting the beginning of the dispute in independent India. This led to the government declaring it a disputed area and locking down the premises. In 1984, the Ram Mandir, or the Ram Temple campaign, inspired various nationalist Hindu movements throughout the country to build a temple at this site. It gathered momentum over the next few years. In December 1992, a mob led by Hindu nationalists stormed the mosque and destroyed it. The destruction sparked national and international protests by the Muslim community. But in India, things took a turn for the worse. Towns and cities were swept by rioting between the two communities and more than 2,000 people were killed, mainly Muslims. The Indian government struggled to come to grips with the crisis and accused the right wing of pre-planning the demolition. I'm quite uh, sure it was pre-planned. Throughout the dispute, multiple civil suits had been filed, including one on behalf of Lord Ram, claiming ownership of the land. In 1996, the state high court put all of them into one suit. Six years later, a special bench consisting of three judges began hearings. In September 2010, the Allahabad High Court pronounced a complex verdict, running more than 8,000 pages. It said that Hindus and Muslims were joint title holders and the disputed site should be divided into three parts, two for the Hindus and one for the Muslims. That was not acceptable to any of the parties, and within months, the stakeholders took the case to the Supreme Court, challenging the verdict. On March 21, 2017, the Supreme Court said the matter was sensitive and should be settled out of court, encouraging all claimants to find an amicable solution. The courts had also been hearing a case preceding the events that led to the demolition of the mosque. In April 2017, the Supreme Court finally charged senior BJP leaders, including former Deputy Prime Minister L.K. Advani, of criminal conspiracy in the destruction of the mosque 25 years ago. This could mean a maximum prison sentence of up to five years, but the verdict is expected to be delivered in 2019. The Ram Temple movement has been at the heart of the Hindu nationalist movement in India. In 1984, the BJP, the current ruling party in India, and the party which many Hindu nationalists turned to, held two seats in the lower house of the Indian parliament. Less than four years after the demolition, the number rose to 161. Over the years, the BJP has won many state and national elections. The promise to build the Ram Temple on the site of the Babri Masjid has always been a part of their manifesto. December 6th is observed as a black day by Muslims across India. Right-wing Hindu parties mark it as a day of victory. Has the BJP successfully used the Mughal Mosque to polarize the people?